Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank all of you for being here today. Uh, you know, last month uh, I toured the state and uh, we went to various um, facilities around the state, uh, especially those dealing with uh, uh, people who had uh, intellectual disabilities. Uh, we went to our nursing homes, we went to our hospitals, uh, we visited with pediatricians around the state, uh, particularly uh, a, pe a pediatrician group uh, down in uh, Dauphin, where there are a number of pediatricians that work there, a number of uh, nurse practitioners, uh, PAs, and uh, we saw what the uh, difficulties uh, that we, we would have resulted uh, had we not uh, increased the funding, I won't say adequately funded, but increase the funding for Medicaid. Uh, you know, Medicaid uh, is the underpinning uh, of all of our healthcare systems in the state of Alabama. Uh, it may not be the best system in the world, uh, but it's the one that we have. And what we have, we have to work with. And uh, we have tried, uh, ever since I've been governor and, and since uh, uh, Commissioner Azar has been commissioner, of Medicaid, we have tried every year to get some adequate funding uh, for Medicaid. We tried very hard this year to get some long-term funding. Uh, we came very close to uh, having that uh, become a success, but uh, the session itself was a success, and we need to consider it a success. Uh, we were able to uh, get funding at least for the next two years uh, this is not what I would consider adequate funding, but it's certainly uh, a tremendously better than what it would have been had the BP bill not uh, been passed. Uh, we did some things with the BP money, which I think uh, are very important. Uh, we were able to pay off uh, debts. We paid off our rainy day fund debt for the general fund, which is $161.6 million. Uh, we also were able to uh, pay off some debts on the Alabama Trust Fund that uh, we borrowed in 2012. Uh, and also we were able to uh, do some things that I think are very important. Uh, the $120 million that uh, was given to us uh, in, the, in the BP settlement. Uh, you know, we negotiated that billion dollars uh, for the state of Alabama. Uh, Cooper Shattuck uh, was the attorney and uh, he worked really hard, uh, and at my insistence that we would not take anything less than a billion dollars for the state of Alabama, we were able to get that much. Uh, and so that's going to do some things, I think, really special for uh, a, lot in, a lot of things in the state, uh, but particularly Medicaid, and that's why we're here today. Uh, as we uh, talk to uh, CMS, um, uh, Commissioner Azar has done a fantastic job. Dave White, who is uh, our policy director related to health care, uh, and all the people at Medicaid worked really hard and, and worked with CMS uh, to negotiate the extension of our RCO program uh, so that we can eventually put those into place, and we hope that uh, we will be able to institute those on July the 1st of next year. Uh, and we had to have funding in order to do that because many of the uh, regional care organizations have invested uh, large amounts of money into their programs. Uh, and uh, we want to make sure that we have adequate funding on the, on the state level so that uh, they will be able to institute uh, their programs in their area. Uh, some are further along than others, but uh, we have at least two in, in every region. We have five regions of the state. And so uh, this is going to be a model for the whole country. And uh, CMS wants it to succeed. Uh, that's why they were willing to give us $748 million uh, of money that uh, would help us institute the regional care organizations. Uh, I certainly want that to be put into place before I leave office. And we believe that it will be. And uh, we are excited today to talk about one thing that we had to cut uh, in, 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 that we thought we were going to have to cut. Uh, we did make a promise uh, that uh, we would restore this uh, if we had the money that was available. Uh, we had a, 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 I want to thank our legislature. They did a, an excellent job. The House did a great job. Uh, the Senate did a great job as far as the uh, BP the bill was concerned. And I, and I want to thank them and their leadership uh, for helping us get through this major problem. 
Uh, we are going to restore October the 1st, the $15 million for our primary care physicians in the state. Uh, our primary care physicians are the ones that are, uh, are affected the most with Medicaid because almost all of our primary care doctors uh, take Medicaid. Uh, some of the ones uh, take a large percentage uh, of, of, of their people of, that they see, especially children. Uh, a large percentage of those are covered with Medicaid. And so uh, if, if, we, they, if they don't have adequate funding, uh, they have to run a business. Uh, people don't think that doctors have to run a business, but they do. Uh, and so in, in order to run a business, you have to be paid for the services that you provide. Uh, so we will be uh, instituting or reinstituting the uh, primary care bump, uh, which is $15 million. Uh, and this will put our uh, primary care physicians back at the level that they were before we had to cut it. That, that was actually the only thing that we were allowed to cut when we talked to CMS. Uh, and so that's what we had to do because we didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, but I again want to thank our legislature for doing a fine job uh, and for, for me being able to, uh, to sign that and, and us, uh, us working together uh, to get to this point. I want to turn it over now to uh, someone who really is doing a great job. Uh, Stephanie uh, Azar, has, uh, she talks fast, but she works fast. And uh, she does a fantastic job, and uh, I, I want to thank her for what she has done. And so uh, I'm going to let her speak now, and then we'll open it up for some questions. Stephanie? Thank you, Governor. I appreciate it, and I'll try to talk slower. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Governor Bentley stated, we are very grateful that the legislature provided additional funding for fiscal year 17 and 18. Thanks to that additional funding, I'm not having to send out notices on program cuts, and I'm very grateful for that, because those are cuts that none of us wanted to make. It's also good to be able to work with CMS to, to work toward putting back the primary care bump. We're going to start that in, in, in that process now. It's not only a good thing that we're reinstating the bump for the providers, but it's also a very good thing for our RCO transformation as well. If being able to provide reasonable and appropriate uh, reimbursement to providers increases access to the care for our Medicaid recipients. So I'm really honored to be able to be here today with Governor Bentley and announce that we are reinstating that primary care bump October 1st. 